attempt three, then. Maybe we can make an improvement on the disastrous first day. I really hope so, because I'm, I'm yet to beat this game. And you know, doing so before getting Wrath of the Lamb is probably a good idea. Because if it adds whole new endings and levels and bosses and what jazz, I don't want to miss out on the older ones. This is why I'm reluctantly holding out on spending the very, very, very reasonable price of said DLC. DLC done right. Huge amounts of content, not a lot of investment. DLC done wrong. Last Stand Tower Commander in Dawn of War 2. Is this chocolate milk? Yes, it is. Charge shots. I was not a massive fan of this idea. I'll admit. I've got two bombs. I can't actually get all of these coins. But I won't. I'll keep one bomb just in case. If I don't find a better use for it, I'll come back. Usually how this rolls. Oh, dark meat. Yeah, because I like to hold the shoot button down when I'm uh, when I'm trying to, well, shoot for any real protracted length of time. So for me to have to tap it is going to become a little bit annoying. I'm not going to lie. Money, though. Now, this one did uh, fully heal me last time. I don't know if it changes each time you start a new quest, as it were. I'm going to assume so. So I won't use it. Ah! Perfect. Check the poo. Come on, dude. Follow your own rules here. Always cheer heck the poo. Always cheer heck the poo. The problem with the charge shot, I think, is that it takes too long for the damage output you're actually going to get out of it. It does double damage in like two shots and then one, but look how long it takes to fully charge it. That's just not worth it. In the time, you could have fired several more. Is that Steam Sale? Itself? On sale? I think the universe might have just imploded. Holy crap. Well, what do you know? Steam Sale is a fantastic upgrade, if you're not aware what it does. It halves the price of everything in all shops for the rest of the game while you have it. Now, that's pretty awesome, because it means some of the best items that cost 15 coins drop to a rather more acceptable 7 coins. Anyway, we now have to fight Gemini again in a slightly different... Is he normally green? He's not normally green, is he? I know I'm not wrong about that, he's not normally green. Hmm. You do. See, this whole needing to tap fire button thing? Kind of annoying. Okay, I say kind of. It's, it's super annoying, in fact. Blarg. Well, maybe I'll get another upgrade sooner or later. I'll replace it. You wouldn't mind the sort of psychic purple awesome tears, but I don't remember what that power up was called. Hell, any of the Satan power ups would be great right about now. Ah, it's done lock. <laughs> Let's go for a charge shot, why not? Oh, okay, that did a little bit more than the damage I was expecting. And what's this? Speed up. Well, yeah, okay, that's acceptable. I think in terms of usefulness, attack, health, speed, and then range in that order. Because range upgrades are fairly useless. Since your standard weapon covers about half the length of the screen, and you're often moving, and most of the upgraded weapons cover the whole screen anyway. So. Not really worth it. But hey, a coin is worth it. For Christmas and for now. And for putting out fire with chocolate. Try that in real life, see how it works for you. But yeah, you see, always check the fire. There are always prizes to be had. It's a whole lot of fun, there are prizes to be won. <laughs> oh man, that show. That show. And keys. Yes, this game is uh, being more generous with the keys this time. Ah, oh, pride. What does pride do? I forget. Oh yeah, he's that one. He's the diagonal laser and room full of bombs boss. He's not hugely difficult. Yeah. He just does his own thing. And we will do ours. Like that. The Emperor. That's the one that just resets boss fights, so you know what? Fuck the hat. That's the most useless power-up in the game, perhaps. A pill is a pill is a pill. I don't think it really makes any difference either way, which one. Always check the fire and grab the money inside. Hmm, I think treasure in this case is a better choice. Flies? Again, new one. This game has an infinite variety to it. Halo of flies. One presumes this is a protective measure? Well, I'm not going to complain at that. 
What I am going to complain about is my current lack of keys. A treasure chest could have been useful. But it is not right now. It's dead weight. It's useless. What's inside has to wait. Or possibly not be grabbed at all. One would hope that I find another key before then. And spray the room with chocolate milk. For no real reason at all. I used to eat that stuff. Not not the milk, obviously, but the chocolatey powder you used to put in it to make the thing in the first place. It was a weird child. He used to do the same thing with the uh, sandwich spread. <laughs> the more you know about Mars Calibur, the more you know about getting shot. Well, this Halo of Flies thing actually seems to work fairly well at blocking shots most of the time. Oh, wow, that's a disconcerting room to walk into. Uh, hey, guys, how you doing? I'm just doing a little bit of neck spurting there. Hey, I'm just gonna, just gonna pass on through. That's alright with you. May not join you in your headless neck birthing. And this one's got oil for blood. Or is a zombie? In the truest sense. He's rotten. Let's kill him. He drops money, so you know. Can't go that way though. May now I've got a choice to make between what to use the key on. With steam. Blah, with steam sale, the shop will become a lot more uh, useful. We'll like you to present prizes. Unless there's a key hidden in here, I think we're done on this level, sadly. Yeah. I guess no prizes for me then. Not for now. Anywhere. Boss time, and the boss is Monstro. Again, not really the most challenging boss in the universe. This time we will drown him in our chocolatey goodness. And he'll charge shots. Hold that for a long time. Oh, typical. Alright, I guess we won't then. I'm, I want to see exactly how much damage it does. At least you can change the direction of it though. Mm, that's a fair amount, I guess, but again, for the charge up time, I generally don't find it worth it. I would much rather have just about every other weapon upgrade that there is in the game. Oh! Let's don't get jumped on by the giant blob of death. It won't end well for you, Isaac. And poorly. Such as you are. Woo! Awesome. Dog food? I don't like the sounds of that. Apparently that's dessert, and apparently it's HP. Ooh, Satan room. Score. Let's go make a deal with the devil. Hmm, interesting. This one on the on the left here is one of the best upgrades I've ever found because it gives you nine lives. It's a dead cat. This one, though, I don't know exactly what it does, and it's cheaper, so if I took it and it alone, I could probably get away with more. That said, the nine lives is kind of hard to pass up. Because, you know, it means if you fuck up, you can just keep on coming back. Potential for me to keep going longer with this. I'm going to go with it. Screw it. Dead cat, nine lives. Unfortunately, I don't actually have another heart to spare on upgrading this, so it won't let me do it. Oh! Oh, beauty! Look at that! Did you see that? I broke the game. In some small way. I'm not sure if that's been deliberately set up that way. I'm not even sure if it was ever been considered by the people who made the game. Probably. But I didn't even think of it until I'd done it. I thought, I'll just prove that I can't grab it. And anyway, rambles aside. I broke the system, but now I only have one heart, so... Harsh. Poor old Isaac. He's screwed. Whoa! That boy needs therapy. That boy needs a floating dead cat head following him around. Give him more power. So this is the problem. I may have nine lives, but each of those will be gone very quickly with only one heart. What you want to hope for when you do this is to, um, to find lots of health upgrades shortly after the fact. Sort of recover yourself from your tragic error of judgement making a deal with Satan. Because now I have one hit precisely left and not a huge amount of room to manoeuvre in this room. The thing in question was Ouija board which gave me quote unquote special tears. I'm not 100% sure what that does. I have maintained my charge shot though. 
and it, I'm spitting these tears instead of um, instead of uh, crying them. But I'm not 100 percent sure what it does. The special tears upgrade itself. It may just be a damage improvement. Oops. It seems what it might be is that the um, I have a charge shot. That was a strange thing to give me from the start there. I wasn't holding the arrow or anything. Um, so anyway, where was I? I'm, I was going to guess that the Ouija board gave you faster projectiles. That seems to be what's happened. Just from a cursory glance. I could be wrong, though. I'm frequently wrong. And I got a key. Oh, God. Well, treasure room. Could be a health power-up. Yeah, at least these zombie heads aren't spitting blood at me. They're crying it, but they ain't spitting it. Oh, they're exploding into it. Well, alright. And that is not familiar at all. Deck of cards. A space item. One I've not encountered before. You see, the thing about this game is my tears are going through objects. That's what this power-up does. It makes it kind of hard to hit the poo, honestly. Not impossible, but trickier than I would like it to be. Oh, come on. I need to explore. I need to root around in piles of shite. Really, I do. Maybe the charge shot will do it. Oh, sort of. <laughs> Isaac being very, very sick. Sick with sorrow. Misery. What's up here, I wonder? Oh, death. Probably. Don't get cornered, Isaac, because you only have one hit left, bud. I don't want you to die. You may have uh, about seven more lives in total, but, you know, don't waste them. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in playthroughs before, streamed playthroughs anyway, but when you enter a new room and you only have one hit left, or very little health left, I forget which it is, Isaac leaves a little puddle of piss by the door. That's some terror for our poor Mr. Isaac. Oh yeah, one of my favourite enemies in the entire game. Being able to shoot through objects though will kind of render them obsolete, or worthless, or whatever the floor. Can't get that, and don't have enough health for that, beauty. To hope for some more health to show up. We still have rooms to explore. There's probably not going to be too many. This is still not far enough in the game with the levels to check out there. But, worms. Worms! Death! See now why the dead cat is awesome? Probably shouldn't have taken the Ouija board, all told. As well. But, um, hey, I did, didn't I? Can you do... Oh, wow. Two in one room? Seriously? I think they're going to respawn as well. Yeah, they kind of are. The charge shots. Help with that. So. Okay. Think this through, Isaac. Fire at them from where they can't get at you, huh? How's that for a plan? Please don't come this way. I cheesed them. I'll take that. Honestly, I will. <laughs> Explode! Suffer at the hands of my tears. More of them. Beautiful. Beautiful. I do have a key, though. And death. I also have death. Yeah, shouldn't have picked up the Ouija board upgrade, really. Granted, I didn't know what it was at the time, so... I didn't know how relatively useless it was going to be. Oh, god damn! Yeah, alright. Go in with a charge shot straight away, and blow him away. And use another one, because this is really not working out too hard. That'll do it. There we go. A gold pill? Well, I'll take that instead then. This was a shot. That was kind of... Ooh. Anarchist's cookbook. It just drops a load of bombs in the room. It's a space item. I will take the blue heart though, because any any kind of increase I can get on my health is useful. Oh, I did actually want the gold pill. Thank you. I don't know what it will do, but it'll probably kill me. I often do that. It's the problem with the pill items. They kind of do you most of the time. Whoops. Well, there goes half my blue heart. And there goes all of it. Well done, Isaac. You made good use of that power-up. You're a star among men. You're highly resourceful. Yarg, blarg. Yarp. Narp? What's in here? Narpass. A Narpass sword, maybe. Yeah, I kind of had to do that. Well, we achieved precisely nothing in these extra rooms, really, so... I guess the boss is what awaits us now. Oh, well, actually, no. Strictly speaking. 
Not true, is it, viewers? You should know by now. What have we got here? A troll bomb and a single coin. I don't think the game likes me very much right now. I think maybe it resents the deals with Satan I kept making. It's like, dude, come on. I'm gonna make this really hard for you now to punish your just poor decision making. And that's fine. I do make an awful lot of poor decisions. Coming into this room with only one heart may have been one of those such instances. Well, no, I'm a stand recalcitrant against this nivious storm of uh, multitudinous flies. <laughs> Literature! You love it. You love it so much, you want to marry it. Ooh. Well, I got out of that pretty easily. Lard. But there is yet more to contend with, Sir Isaac. It's mainly skull tarts. I'm gonna lie. Mainly skull tarts. Are most of your problems skull tarts? Oh, they probably are. You wanna come out of there? Apparently not, no. Apparently he doesn't want to play ball. He doesn't want to play tears either. Alright, there we go. Now I've got him to respond to my commands. And a useless heart that I can't use. That was a worthwhile endeavor, wasn't it, viewers? Super blarg. Wears a red cape and flies to the sky and gets mistaken for various other airborne objects. Oh my blarg, I've never seen this boss before. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess this happens when you make Satan deals. Is there any chance that that is uh, accurate? Or am I just crazy? Whoa, four-way Satan laser. <laughs> Again, I wasn't massively expecting that to happen. But hey, he doesn't seem particularly difficult other than that. Well done, Isaac. Well done, me, more to the point. Lesson learned. Don't mock the bosses. You end up screwed. You can also spit the standard projectiles, so that's new. Has he changed his pattern entirely now? Yeah, yeah, he is. He, he has. He's doing blur blur. He's not being able to talk properly. There we go. It just seems he has many. I only just half. I didn't know that. I'm going to be using my pill anytime soon, I think. Next time he sort of pauses. Whoa! What? Just the flarb? Balls of steel? Oh, it gave me blue hearts. Not going to complain about that. I can tell you that right off the bat. Dealing with two of them, though. Kind of difficult, even if they are smaller. I might have to use my space item in a minute. I'm definitely going to use it. Oh, I see. Well, we all know that the Hermit is completely useless in this uh, in this situation. I'm going to die. How did I not die? That's a good question. Survive, Isaac. You must defeat the Fallen. Come on, I'm this damn close. Okay, that's one of them. True, I have extra lives, but I don't really want to have to repeat the boss. Oh, that's Jewish. Okay, that was terrible. Um, Alright, uh, we'll forget I said that. Well, I guess we'll just have to go again. This time without any backup. No pill or anything, really. It's my own nerves and wit. I don't have a huge amount of either of those. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. I'm genuinely intrigued by this boss, because I've played this game a fair amount, and I thought I'd hit all the uh, all the bosses in the, in the original cycle, but no, apparently not. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever managed to beat a level after the fact of uh, making a Satan deal. That might not be true. I don't honestly remember too well. Suffice it to say, this is all new to me. It's all Greek to me. It means it has no freaking money left. Political commentary. Love it. If you think that you don't love it, you'll love it. With yourself and others. Why would you do such a thing? Okay, I'm this damn close. Please don't kill me now. As long as they're both doing the same thing, it should be relatively easy to keep uh, tabs. No, 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 no. Yes. My name's not Jim. What are you talking about? I'm not a farmer. I can do this. I can so do this. I know I can. Yes! 
I defeated him, and what's this I found? The Book of Sin. Well, honestly, I think that's probably more useful than the Hermit, so yeah, I'll take it. I mean, than the deck of cards. Yep, dying in the treasure chest. We've encountered this one before. Cool! Well, I've made progress. Where are we now, then? In a room full of jumping headless zombies! That's where you always want to be. And one of them's on fire. I mean, as if it wasn't bad enough. I wonder if he will follow the physics here or just take damage to them. Yeah, I thought so. He's fairly actively pursuing me, also, which I'm not a great fan of. But he's dead now, so. What can you do? What can you say? You can say, give me money. Even if you did, you would be pronouncing it properly, would you? And then the grammar Nazis such as me would come down on you like a ton of fucking bricks. Bricks that are on fire, I feel, would be necessary. And in here, a white pill. Well, I'm going to take it because the hermit's a piece of shit. I'm not going to use it. <laughs> now someone in the comments is going to go, actually, I think you'll find the hermit is super useful if you use it in this exact circumstance. Rup -a -dup -a -dup -a -dup -a -dup. Complete with all the derps at the end, because I, I expect no less or better. Ow. I don't seem to be able to hang on to those blue hearts for very long, do I? But no, I don't see huge amounts of use for the hermit. It's a piece of shit! Relative, relative, little blog! Yeah, let's just run that. Okay, red zombies. Red five. Standing by. He cried upon. Suffer the wrath of my sorrow. My spooky sorrow! Use the Ouija board to conjure this misery. I'll launch it at you. Oh, no, we're not quite done yet. We've got uh, this bullshit to deal with. Pills. Tears up. They mean in the sense that I can fire faster? Well, I think that's what the deal is. Yeah, it looks like it. I I went a strange shade of purple, but I'm alright with that. Purple's, purple is a metal colour, so. Live with it. Or live without it. It's really your call. If you live without it, I may have to kill you. Oh, I didn't really want to... Well, okay. For the price of the heart, I guess I'll take that. Progress in a downward direction. Hell! Oh. Yeah, he has a stomach laser. I think it's meant to be blood that he shoots. Like a huge stream of it. Or it could just be a Satan laser. Either way, it is a huge beam of death and um, it hurts. Don't get on the wrong side of it is the lesson. His body becomes a, a normal enemy later in the game. I not already know this. The headless variety that just shoots the laser. With a surprising uh, efficiency. Oh, that wasn't cheap. Come on! Ah! Oh! No way! Also, I ran out of extra lives, it seems. Oh, what? Disappointment. 